Hello children. So today we are going to discuss about cooking and eating. So dear children, we human beings, our body cannot prepare our own food by itself. We need to grow, buy or collect our food items. And then some of them need to be cooked while others can be eaten raw. Some food items that can be eaten raw are carrot, radish, fruits and food items that are eaten only after cooking are meat, fish, potato, cereals like rice, pulses, dal. So they need to be cooked. We cannot eat them raw. So why should we cook food? Cooking makes the food soft, tasty and easy to chew and digest. Cooking also kills germs in the food. Some food items last longer when cooked. For example, pickle. Have you, uh, have you seen uh, our parents, they make pickles and for the they collect raw mango or raw olives or any vegetable vegetables and then they make pickle out of it uh, this time you can watch your mother or grandmother or your father whoever makes the pickle at home so if we make pickles that we can use it for a whole year or maybe more so some food items last longer when it is cooked then there are different methods of cooking like frying is one of them. Frying requires food to be cooked in hot boiling oil or butter. When you put small amount of oil, it is called shallow frying. When food is completely dipped into oil, it is called deep frying. Like pakoras, we dip into the oil, that is called deep frying. And shallow frying is the, we cook some sabji in small amount of oil. So that is called shallow frying. But frying, we mostly use karai or frying pan. We put oil or butter or ghee and then we fry fish, meat or vegetables. Baking, it requires oven. We mostly bake cakes and then biscuits. Roasting. Roasting is a slow process. Roasting is done by putting the food directly over the fire. In the picture you can see so we uh, we put the whatever we want to roast we put it in a stick or rod iron rod then we put it in uh, above the fire and slowly the food it becomes soft and then it is cooked grilling is the process in which food is cooked directly over instant heat the food is put on an iron grid or electrically heated grill bars then barbecue is the method of cooking. The food is put over hot coal. So barbecue and grilling are almost same. Then boiling. We cook food in hot water and it is called boiling. We boil vegetables, we boil fish and meat. So directly we take a container, we put water and we can put whatever we want to boil. That is called boiled food. Then steaming. Steaming is different from boiling. Have you ever seen your, uh, someone making idli? So what happens? Steam of boiling water. When water boils, water vapors comes up. That is called steam. And the food is cooked in that steam. We do not put directly into water. The steam of boiling water is used to cook food. For example, idli is done in is a steaming process. So different methods of cooking are frying, baking, roasting, grilling, barbecue, then boiling and steaming. These are the different methods of cooking food. So utensils used for cooking. We cannot, there are specific utensils which we use for cooking. We cannot use anything to cook. The different materials are used to make cooking utensils like stainless steel, iron, Iron karais are there, then steel, frying pan, and karais are there, then copper, aluminium, wood, plastic. But yes, plastic should be like heat proof. 
uh, normal uh, plastic bowl we cannot put directly over the gas or over the fire it will melt so it should be heat proof then clay clay bowls are also used to make food so different uh, kitchen utensils are like frying pan then bowl then pressure cooker spatula mix a grinder all these things we can find out in our kitchen the children you can you can observe and note it down what utensils you use at your home to cook food so that is an activity for you all okay types of heating sources so there children to cook food we need heat and there are different heating sources to cook food first picture you can see a pressure stove so that is a stove we put kerosene and then the kerosene is used to light up the flame and then we put our utensil over the stove and we cook food there so kerosene is used in a pressure stove then we have chula coal and wood is used in chula it is mostly found in villages then gas stove is there that is used for lpg gas cooking gas all of you have seen gas stove the solar cooker it use sunlight so the pressure the solar cooker is kept in uh, kept outside where they get sunlight and the utensil is kept inside it and the cook food is cooked with the help of sunlight the heat of the sun then hot plate or induction plate is there uh, it electricity is used electricity is the fuel here then we have microwave oven it also works on electricity so we can bake cake pizzas and all right so these are the different types of heating sources used to cook food and children tips for cooking so now you are young you cannot you cannot cook your food by yourself your parents or your grandparents they cook for you right so we should be careful while we are cooking so before cooking we should always wash our vegetable pulses cereals fish or meat because they come uh, from outside and it's very dirty so at first we should clean it very properly then we should we can also soak pulses before cooking like if we are making dal we can soak it for some time so it will save fuel so it will be quickly done if we soak it for some time then we should always use clean utensils to cook food so after cooking we should always wash our utensils and we should clean it up otherwise germs will be there if we keep it then while cooking we should be very careful because we are uh, mostly we are using electricity or gas uh, we are using fire so we should be careful while cooking we should keep all the items required for cooking ready so before we everything should be we should cut the vegetables we should keep the pulses near us so that we don't need to run here and there to find the things then we can use pressure cooker for cooking rice pulses and for boiling vegetable it will save time and fuel because pressure cooker if you put rice it it is done very quickly compared to boiling other things then we can cover frying pan or karai with a lid and we should avoid overcooked or undercooked food and after cooking we should always keep the food covered and we should avoid wasting our food that is the main thing we should cook whatever we want extra food you should not throw if you have a refrigerator you can keep it there and you can have it the next you can warm it and have it next day but avoid wasting food eating together in a family so eating together in a family is very important whether you live in a small family that is nuclear family or you live in a big or a joint family but family members should try to eat at least one meal together it gives sense of togetherness we can share many things over the dining table 
in a family most of the members eat the same kind of food so we cook for we don't cook that uh, individual dishes we cook for all of us but sometimes separate food is also cooked for some family members like for older people they mostly eat soft foods and then sick people they cannot eat spicy food we need to cook for them separately even babies they cannot eat babies and children they cannot eat spicy food so but mostly same kind of food is cooked for the whole family children so now you all are young your parents they buy and they prepare food for you all yes sometimes we also go outside to have food but every day we cannot go outside to have food that is not healthy we should always learn how to cook our own food by ourselves when you will grow you should not depend on others to cook your food you should learn the minimum cooking skills i'm not telling about that you will have to prepare delicious dishes every day but each and every one should learn how to cook but don't try it now you can take help of your parents you can but you can also help decorating your salads and then you can also make sandwiches you don't need fire to make sandwich and always try to help your parents but whatever you do you take your permission from your elders don't try to cook in in apps in their absence because we should be very careful when we cook our food thank you children have a nice day